Well, now Nick Clegg stole the show at his party conference announcing that free school meals for five to seven year olds in England. But there were other things stirring in the undergrowth of that conference. Our political editor, Gary Gibbon, is there in Glasgow. Back to you, Gary. Hi, John. Well, Nick Clegg dominated yesterday in the uh, chamber with the economy debate. Today he was busy behind the scenes preparing his speech, his big speech for tomorrow, and giving interviews. When I caught up with him, I asked him first about what he made of Vince Cable's conference so far, about 48 hours of gushing out off-message sound bites. Do you agree with Vince Cable that uh, the coalition packing up before the election is certainly possible, his words? No, it's not going to happen. We're going to see the coalition through till May 2015. That's what we've said to the British people. So Vince Cable's wrong on that one. Do you agree with him that the Tories are, I could go on, it's a long list, callous, prejudiced, nasty, disapproving of public sector workers and the unmarried? You're, you're not going to use any of those phrases, you're, you're, are you? You're, you're, I, I mean, we're not the thought police, we're the Liberal Democrats. People are free to use the adjectives and adverbs and nouns they want. But the central point is, are Liberal Democrats different to the Conservatives? And do we disapprove of the... I'd put it like this, I think the Conservatives do have a bit of a tin ear on basic principles of fairness. On a serious economic point, Vince Cable is saying that the policy being pursued by the government on housing has a flashing amber light threatening a property boom. He makes it sound like you're heading for a car crash. Well, I think he's clearly... Do you agree with him well, or Danny Alexander, who says you're a million miles from a property boom? Well, I, th I think, in a strange kind of way, of course, Vince is, is right if you were to look at the property prices in central London. In Kensington and Chelsea, we have lots of people buying high-value properties from around the world. House prices, frankly, are, you know, racing ahead. It doesn't feel like that in my neck of the woods in... Sheffield. So what we need to do, and I think Vince is quite right to say this, is be vigilant. Make absolutely sure that we don't do anything which stokes up another unsustainable property bubble which then bursts and, and we're left with all the consequences. He says the policy, as it looks like being unveiled in January, will do exactly that. It's all about giving creditworthy borrowers, not people who shouldn't be borrowing pots of money from banks, but creditworthy borrowers who at the moment can't get a mortgage for a first home, to get a mortgage, not on crazy terms, not sort of 120% mortgages, but nonetheless on mortgages which they can afford. What do you think is going on with Vince Cable? Is he a slightly older man in a hurry, do you think, uh, no, with think his eye perhaps on the next opportunity to replace you? No, I think Vince Cable has actually emerged as one of the very best secretaries of state in our government. I don't think it's fair on Vince to somehow uh, read into his, his comments uh, some mischievous intent. Yesterday, you said that uh, if George Osborne wants to do 100% of the uh, austerity measures in the next mm. parliament uh, by cuts, that's not your programme. You're going to take 20% out of tax rises. Um, presumably, this briefing note, which accidentally went to journalists, gives us a pretty good clue of who you'd be clobbering, the no, richest, it's, it's the richest wrong. 10 percent it's, it's, it's people on over 50,000. It's, it's wrong, it was withdrawn, it does not represent my thinking or that of the party. Well, who else are you going to clobber if not the richest 10 percent? Well, we're going to start at the top. It's how you define the top, which I think is at stake here. And what we're not doing is simply sort of plucking out a figure. You, you pluck out 50,000. I, I plucked it out of your note. Well, your note, which has no, which has no status. But um, <laughs> it was so sent, I wouldn't, it was I wouldn't, sent to all I wouldn't pluck at figures your, from a plucked by, note. By your party. Yes, and that was a mistake, and it's been withdrawn. It does not represent our thinking. What does represent our thinking? unsurprisingly, is actually what we've decided in this conference, where we set out our overall approach to taxation, where we've been very clear that we actually want to see lower taxes on income and, and effort and enterprise, but higher taxes on wealth and land. Channel 4 transmitted a documentary recently about Cyril Smith and what seems to have been a, a lifetime of a systematic child abuse. Uh, what measures have you taken to check what the party knew and whether the party acted properly? Well, we, of course, have done exactly what the police have asked us, which is to scour our, our files to see if there's anything about that period of time that, that, that is of any relevance. But there's allegations that your predecessor, David Steele, um, treated the, uh, the allegations uh, with a certain facetiousness. Uh, you don't think that's something that the party should account for? I don't want the party, I don't, want to, I don't think a political party should seek to act as a, a sort of surrogate police force. We're a political party, we're not the police. The police are the professionals. But now that the police have decided there is further evidence they want to investigate, I will ensure that where the Liberal Democrat Party can help, we will help the police.